Oh Jesus. No, no. Think we're good? No, no, we're not. All right, let's... Jesus. Oh my, everything, the whole setup's falling apart. You dog. I'm, I'm dying. All right, yep. How do you even start this video? <laughs> Why is it so munted? <sighs> oh, come on. Hi everyone, how's it going? So anyway, as I said in one of my recent videos on this channel guys, I'm really trying to give you guys more content. Uh, it'd be great to upload more on the channel and, oh, sorry, one second. Who the heck is cool? Yep, hello. Yes, I'm uploading a video on the second channel. I said I'd be uploading more. What do you mean it's been a year? Yeah, well that's pretty good upload schedule, wouldn't you say? A video a year? Yeah, right. G'day folks, Sheilas and Blokes, it's your boy, Papa Hui Hui. We back in here. Yeah, look, there's really no apology at this point that uh, <laughs> can heal the wounds of me leaving for a year. I'm here, I'm making a video, I plan on making more videos on this channel. We, have, we officially have a new editor, so shout outs to Debra. Uh, he's gonna do a great job. Uh, Debra is gonna load up the clips and um, hopefully having an editor like Debra on the team, on the JoJo second channel, uh, it's gonna allow me to upload more videos. So everyone, please give a warm welcome to Debra. It's nice to see you. If you're excited for me to return to this channel and don't quote me on the word return, can I get a hoya in the chat? Hoya! Today we are going to be taking a dive into one of the best shows ever to be produced on national television. It's a show which is produced by one of the best channels on national television, Only Human, Freaky eaters. This show without doubt is one of the most ambitious anime plots I've ever seen. It's easily up there with some of the greats like Barnyard, The Last Airbender Movie, Finding Shrek. Honestly, it's a timeless classic on YouTube, and I'm sure if you've scrolled around on the website for long enough, you've seen one of these episodes pop up at some point in your recommended feed. For those of you that don't know what the show is about, I'll give you the basics. We have our anime protagonists, Dr. JJ Virgin and Dr. Michael Dow, two honorable, just fantastic human beings who go around the community helping out people who have strange addictions to foods. There's really a spectrum to the Freaky Eaters show, which I really love. They tackle all different points of the food pyramid. You got people addicted to french fries, you have people addicted to ice creams, but we're going to be looking at a couple of my absolute favorites in this video. The greatest part is when you click onto a Freaky Eaters video and it starts off with like the intro music and it's that bass. A Freaky Eater is someone who takes an eating habit to an extreme. Takes an eating habit to, to an, an extreme. 24 year old Michael is an out and out carnivore. I'd go nuts without me. He devours up to 150 pounds of meat a month. Jesus Christ. And he has never eaten a salad or vegetable. I actually don't know how I haven't even seen this episode yet. I've seen almost all of them, but somehow I must have missed this one. He averages up to 150 pounds monthly. That's equivalent to an astounding 1,800 pounds a year, 12 times the average person's consumption. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of meat. I just like to just eat meat only. He averages up to 150 pounds monthly. 150 pounds, I think, to kilos, because I'm from Australia. I think it's about like 60 kilos? Yeah, 60, 68, a bit off, but more or less. Uh, that's insane. I love the way meat tastes in my mouth, and I like to see the juices running through it. I crave meat. That was good. <laughs> His girlfriend just like looks at him like she's seen the ghost of Christmas past. What's she eating? She's like, it's like she's eating um something with fries and it looks like there's some onion rings. He didn't even touch the onion rings. What kind of person doesn't like onion rings? I haven't tried vegetables because my parents really weren't that pushy. I don't eat anything green. I've never tried a piece of lettuce in my whole life. It's actually unbelievable when you think about how different people's eating habits can be. Me, for example, I eat uh, like a whole food plant diet. Um, it's like a vegan diet. And so it's crazy when you see people on totally different side of the spectrum who eat the complete opposite to you. And from your point of view, you look at what they're eating is kind of disgusting to say, say the least. It's just super interesting when you think about how different people's palates are. Um, but they do say that it's almost entirely habitual. The foods that you eat just so happen to be the foods you like. However, his meat addiction is taking its toll on their relationship. No way, really? Don't cook them too much, Jen. Then do you want to cook it or what? 
I think the way Michael eats can be repulsive. Yeah. I don't see a time where I'm gonna just order vegetables instead of meat. Jenna should accept me for what I am. Yeah, look, no. I totally get the phrase that people should accept you for who you are, but when you're willingly and consciously making dangerous choices, whether it's with your lifestyle or your eating habits, um, yeah, nah. I'm so worried that I'm gonna lose my, the way that I lost my dad. Because with my dad, it was a heart attack, and I know meat's not good for your heart. She's actually right. Red meats especially have been classed as type 1 carcinogens, uh, which means they're probably not very good for you, and they probably cause cancer. Terrified Michael's life will end like her father's. Jenna has called in freaky eater experts no, Dr. Mike yeah, Dow and JJ Virgin to give the, Michael a week of voice. intense therapy for his meat addiction. You're just out and about with your missus enjoying a nice lunch at uh, where you can get Tuesday 25 cent hot wings and then all of a sudden you hear boss music start entering the chat. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> you just see the face like, oh she here we go again. You just see his his eyes jump everywhere. He doesn't know where to look. He doesn't know if he's supposed to look at the cameras or not. It's just hi there. Your girlfriend Jenna called us. She says there's a little problem and I think we see it right here. This is a ridiculous amount of chicken wings. To be fair, I did used to love chicken wings. They were my go-to. They're pretty good. It's important for JJ and I to see what he's eating at home. And then of course you have the moment in each episode where they just show you how much stuff that they are eating. Steaks, uh, bacon. Oh my god. And of course after this moment it's the iconic part of Freaky Eaters, the shock therapy. It's super interesting to see how people react to the shock therapy. Most of them, if you're a normal person, will be totally disgusted by it and hence be disgusted by yourself and your actions and your attitude with uh, this particular food or substance. But then you have the people who, if anything, when they see the shock therapy, actually go the other way. We needed shock therapy to be something very visual. Come with me. Michael is totally underestimating his problem. Wait till he sees what we have in store for him in the meat locker. The meat locker. Ugh. It's just wieners. A wiener is always hanging around in... Wait, let's cut that out. <laughs> wow. Our body can't handle that amount of protein and it's loaded with saturated fats, which can lead to heart disease and stroke. Absolutely right. Um, again, not a doctor. But I at least know enough to know that especially all the red meats that he's eating can lead to cancer, obesity, diabetes, osteoporosis, heart disease. The list goes on. So, Jesus Christ. I have a slight problem, I guess. This say. is not a slight problem, say, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> After being shown 150 pounds of raw dead animal flesh <laughs> just random just organs it to be fair you you don't even know what's in there they could have just chopped off elk penis <laughs> i know some people like really weird stuff really weird parts of the animals like there could be eyeballs in there what's it called what's the name of like there's like a cultural delicacy where they eat the testicles eating bull testicles they're called um they're called Rocky Mountain Oysters. Yeah, there, there could be literally anything in there. And uh, after all of that, he's just like, yeah, I never a problem. There's a whole dinner right here. When it came out of the end of the grinder. <laughs> oh, let's see about that. When that I'm, meat was coming. I'm, I'm actually going to puke. I'm going to puke. It sounded like juicy, <laughs> dripping blood. Oh, man. Oh, my God. And the juice. The juice, oh, not the juice. When JJ told me to put a vegetable in my bowl, I was freaking out. So after shock therapy and after talking to the couples and trying to come to the realization that this person, you know, has something mentally going on, then they have to start trying to reintroduce them to basically adopting normal, healthy eating habits, which for someone who has probably been eating only meat for the past 15 years of their life, might be a bit difficult. <laughs> Let me get my magnifying. Just... <laughs> One little. That's all the fruit and veg you need, folks, to um to be to be healthy. Let me get my magnifying glass out to see that carrot. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> wow, fixed, fixed. Well, 
it's uh, all done. All right, well, that's a wrap. The next step is adding another vegetable. I don't know which one is better than the other. If you like sweet, those red peppers are a little bit sweeter. I'll do that. E look, even I don't really like peppers that much. I, I feel like he's going to fail really badly with this one. All right, one, two, three. As I'm raising the fork I in my mouth, think I'm work. thinking, please let this be good. It's not bad. Guess what? And guess what? Oh my <laughs> god. What's oh. coming next? Taking that bowl that away. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> what am I going to do wow. next? Hold it. All right, Hold I see. It. One of the most amazing superfoods out there is broccoli. I only hear horror stories about broccoli. It kind of looks like a tiny tree. Who would want to eat a tree? The mighty broccoli. Oh. Broccoli. There we go. <laughs> broccoli. Uh, that looks that looks pretty yummy. That's um interesting. Not bad. Yeah, since this is your first well-balanced meal you've had in your life, we should yeah. let you actually Watch eat this eat. one. Michael is teaching himself that he can do this, and there's a lot riding on it. The experts are now going to be leaving Michael alone for four days. Then they come back four days later and he's just eating meat again. There I was go. just overcome with so much emotion when I saw Michael wow. eating that salad. This is a huge thing that we're overcoming together. Truly incredible stuff. Really just great job from all, all parties. Michael Dow and JJ Virgin. Just, just, just another classic banger. So I went ahead and looked up what Michael's been up to, seeing how he's doing, and turns out he's just on Instagram, he's chilling and pilling. It looks like he's doing great. They have a child, or at least they have more than one kid. You know what? It seems like everyone turned out fantastic. Hopefully he's still eating uh, a very diet instead of just meat after all these years. Just fantastic. So that's going to wrap up uh, today's video, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and want to see more videos, then smash a like. Big thanks to Deborah. We'll see you all in the next one. Toodles.